What is up guys, welcome back to this ride in BMX in my front yard channel. There's my house, here's my front yard. Look at this huge slant and it curves around this building. We're just gonna warm up in shorts because there is a huge storm coming over there and this is like a Bentley dealership, uh, so I probably will get kicked out, but we'll get a couple, you know, scenic cars. Here we go. This wall is so steep, it doesn't really look like it from the other angle. This one almost as fast as I could, I could barely get up that thing. But the rain is coming, so I'm gonna try to get a couple clips real quick. A little wall, three right here. These North Carolina spots are so consistent with just putting a curb at the bottom of like an amazing spot. It's like this. You could probably carve to the top of this thing easily if you didn't have to bunny hop up to like a freaking 80 degree slope. You could just ride up it. But it's all good. Went ahead and pulled my van up next to it. I want to try to like kind of carve around it, you know? Like we're in the barrel, this is the surf channel. You guys can't really see. Check out the old cars and I'm not a car guy, but I know someone will appreciate that. Last thing at this spot, I'm gonna try to ride up it and like double peg slide down. But this wall is like, insanely grippy so I'm probably gonna erase my pegs trying this. Well that was way harder than I thought. I grinded down more than half an inch of my back peg and and my front peg too. I didn't really do the trick I wanted, but we're taking it. I need to go get a polar pop and then I'm gonna go find a new spot to ride. We'll see you there. Polar pop! Hey, hey. Pull yourself a polar pop! And we have arrived at the next spot. Check it out. Pretty micro. A full 180 curve wall ride and mail pad. If that tree's on the way maybe? I'm gonna start off with the, the manual 180 because I have not done a low curve wall ride in forever. And this is probably the lowest I've ever tried and we are rusty. God is watching. Definitely had to put a little bit of work in for the manual 180 bar, but we've re-unlocked that thanks to the power of the front load stem. I made a friend. <laughs> now it's time to try the wall ride. You guys an idea how tall the wall is? It's less than a tire. It should be a fun experience. You can't really bunny hop into it because it's so low. And you gotta go fast to get all the way around it. I, th I think I'm gonna go like two thirds the speed I, th I should go just so I make good contact with the wall the first time. And then once I get a little comfortable getting on the wall, I'll go all the way. Not a bad first try, I gotta be careful though. Risk factor higher than I thought. Cold feet on that one, huge lack of commitment. I need to make sure to keep my weight inside of the wall so if anything weird happens, I fall into the center and not flip over the wall again. Get used to practice. So 
car is just about as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Only five bricks high, but I think the biggest issue I'm having right now, since I have two front pegs, when I hop on the wall, I have to have this peg cleared from the ground or I'm gonna eat crap. You guys wanna see something way cooler than this stupid curved wall ride? There's a freaking time capsule right here, what? September 18th, 94. 26 years old. Just met up with my bro, Big Tay. He's got the mountain bike though, no skateboard. That's right. We're just on a cruise through the campus by his house. And look what we have here, another curved wall ride, but this time I'm gonna do it, instant redemption. Had some technical difficulties. The beginning of the bike ride, I have a flat tire now, so we have to go back get a tube. I took the sidewalls out of the tire and I'm doing this so I don't put any stress on my rim. But there are some good obstacles and I just ran over <laughs> So did I. We'll be seeing you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Got a little temperature check for you guys just so you know what I'm battling out there. Oh my gosh. Wish me luck. Video has been a little tough to make. It's been like three days since I popped my tire when I was riding with my brother. I tried to ride the last two days and it rained because I've been waiting to the evening to ride because it's, you guys saw how hot it is over here. But whatever, I decided to bite the bullet, try to finish this video. I got a little wall ride right here off the speed bump right there and it's brick so it's gonna grip good. I'm gonna try to hit it a couple times and then see if I can just get a 180 out because we just relearned this. I had to do the quick free coaster install because I did not want to keep trying that. Let's just pretend I have a free coaster and it, that was a normal rollout. Let's just let's just pretend that because it's exhausting outside. It could be because I'm husky, but it's probably because it's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like I think 38 degrees Celsius for you guys not in America. But remember, if you're outside, stay hydrated. It's very hot out, and if you're around people, don't be a freaking jerk and wear a face mask. I got my mask right here. Only the coolest people know about this mask right here. Well, we are out here, BMX in the hood. Where's my boy John Hicks at? Quick little stop at the movies. 2020. Nobody here. Nice. What we got in theaters? Look how long this place has been closed. Got freaking bad boys. January 17th. It's July 21st right now, 2020. March 13th. Frick you, Vin Diesel. I'm gonna go for a hang fire right here. I'm filming on my phone right now, so I don't have my tripod, so we're about to get real low. <laughs> Just down the parking lot. Found this, uh, I don't know. I guess the roots maybe pushed it from the tree and the rebar fell down. That's a little. That's a dangerous hazard right there. We're going for a tie ride bar. Session got ended a little early. I gotta head back to the car place where my uh, alarm is getting worked on because I had it installed two hours away from where I'm at. I'm in Charlotte right now. I had it installed in Greenville, South Carolina and they didn't do it right. And I didn't want to drive back to get it fixed. So I'm getting fixed up here in Charlotte. Good news is that this is the last thing I had to do in order to finish my van to the way I can go ever because I didn't want to start sleeping places so I have an alarm installed. This is a tan leg channel. Okay, we're out here tanning. This is my favorite thing to do on my bike. And we're going downhill. I don't have brakes anymore or having regrets. This minivan might hit me. Kids, remember to cross at the crosswalk. Have a great day. Goodbye.